In previous class, we have seen linked list implementation of queue. Today, let us see priority queue. Priority queue is an abstract data type similar to regular queue or stack. In priority queue, each element has additionally priority associated with it. In priority queue, high priority elements will be served before low priority elements. If two elements have the same priority, they are served according to their order in which they were enqueued. Priority queue must follow the following operations. Insert with priority. Add an element to the queue with an associated priority. Second one is remove the highest priority element. Remove the element from the queue that has a highest priority. In addition to these two mandatory operations, another method peak will also be frequently used within this priority queues. Peak will returns the highest priority element but it does not modify the queue. This operation will find the highest priority element and it will remove that from the queue. But here peak will not remove that element from the queue. It will just return the value. This peak operation always take big of one time. Stacks and queues are different than priority queues. In priority queues, the ordering is intrinsic, means ordering is inherent. Order in priority queue depends on the value being inserted, whereas in stacks and queues, the order of the elements depends on when they were inserted, but not based on the value of the elements. One thing you need to notice is queue is not subtype of priority queue and priority queue is not subtype of queue. Let's see the applications of priority queue. Many modern protocols for LANs uses priority queue at max sublayer. To ensure high priority applications such as IPTV, voice over IP, experience lower latency than other applications. Hoffman coding requires one to reportedly obtain two lowest frequency trees. Priority queues is the one method of doing that. If you use minhi priority queue, Prince algorithm to find minimum spanning tree of a graph can achieve good running time and priority queue also used in operating system to select the highest priority process. Priority queue is like list or map. Priority queues can be implemented with arrays, linked list, binary search trees and heaps. These heaps can provide an efficient implementation of priority queues. We will see heap based implementation of priority queues after completion of tree status structure. You already know linked list so now let's see linked list implementation of priority queue. In linked list implementation, NQ operation will take big of n time n q and dq will take big of one time. In heap implementation, both dq and nq will take order of login time. In linked list implementation of priority queue, node structure will have three fields: data, priority, and link for the next node. If you want to add one element to a priority queue in linked list implementation, you need to allocate memory dynamically on heap. This create node function will allocate memory for linked list node on heap by using this MLR function. The base address of the allocated memory will be stored within this new node pointer. If we pass arguments 10 as data and 1 as priority, here those values will be stored within this new node. So data is having value 10 and priority is 1. Initially, new node next field will be help. Here 0 address is stored. This new node pointer in NQ function will be pointing to newly created node. Initially, global variable friend will be null means priority queue is empty. This is the first node here front is null so make this new node as front. Since front is null so this front is assigned with new node address. Now this front is pointing to this new node means we make this new node as front. Again we want to perform this NQ operation so new node will be created with data and its address is stored within this new node pointer. See here, here front is not null. So where to add this node? In regular queue, we will add it rare of the queue. But in priority queue, we need to add items to the queue based on priority values. Compare this priority value with front node priority value. Here, this new node has highest priority than this front node. Here, small number means 
highest priority means we need to insert this new node before this current node how can we do that store this front node address in new node next field so front node address 1024 that is stored within this new node means this new node is pointing to this node now this is the first node in queue so make it as front now front will be assigned with new node address so now front will be pointing to this node for better visualization rearrange the nodes within queue similarly for this nq operation also new node will be created here also front is not null and this new node priority not less than front priority so we cannot add this node as first node of the queue we need to find its correct position in list here our list is order list order is based on priority values we need to find the highest priority node in this list which is having priority value less than this new node priority to find that we need to traverse through this entire list for traversing purpose take temporary pointer assign front value to that assign front value to that temporary pointer we already compared this new node priority with front priority so we need to compare this front next node priority with this new node priority so if temp next not equal to null and temp next priority less than this p means new node priority we need to advance the temp pointer here temp next is not null this condition is satisfied and temp next priority one which is less than this new node priority both conditions are satisfied we need to advance the temp now temp is pointing to this second node again check this condition here temp next is null so this condition failed so get out from this while loop now we found the correct position after which we can insert this new node so place this new node address in this temp next temp next will be assigned with this new node address now this temp will be pointing to this node let's perform this NQ operation also new node will be created again front is not null and new node priority this two not less than front priority so we need to find the correct position to insert this new node so again take this temporary pointer here also temp next not equal to null and temp next priority 1 which is less than this 2 new node priority so increment the temp now temp is pointing to this second node again check this condition temp next not equal to null yes here which is not null and temp next priority which is 3 not less than this new node priority so this condition will fail so don't move this temporary pointer means temp will remains point to this second node so after this second node we need to insert this new node if we place this new node address in this temp next this node will be added after that second node but we will lose reference for this node so first copy the temp next value this is 1056 temp next value into new node next this new node next. now this new node will point to this third node within our list now these two nodes are linked then place this new node in temp next so temp next will be assigned with new node address now this link will be established now temp is pointing to this new node new node is pointing to this node in this nq function we no need to check for overflow condition because link list can grow as needed so this is the final priority queue just we rearrange it for better visualization links are not changed to add new node to this list we need to find the correct position of that new node in this list in most case we need to compare with all of these nodes within this list so time complexity for nq operation will be if you have n nodes it will be big of n time we want to perform dq operation it should remove the highest priority node from the queue our queue is already ordered based on priority values so highest priority item will be at the front of our queue so delete the first node from the queue this can be simply done by advancing the front pointer in forward direction but we created memory dynamically for all of these nodes we need to free the dynamically allocated memory so before advancing the front pointer store its content in temp pointer this temp pointer will be used to free that memory after storing this front in temp advance the front pointer 
now delete this node with the help of this temp pointer in c deletion can be done with this free function same process will be repeated for these two dq operations also then one node will be within our queue suppose we perform one more dq operation store this rent value in temp since only one node present within our priority queue rent next will be null then delete that last node now queue is empty if we try to perform one more dq operation on empty queue queue underflow will happen so we need to add this logic to handle the queue underflow here front equal to null means queue is empty we cannot perform dq so raise this error queue underflow for dq operation in linked list implementation of priority queue it will take big of one time just we will remove node at rent irrespective of how long our list is this is complete program for priority queue implementation with linked list include this header file for dynamic memory allocation functions this is the node structure for priority queue using single linked list here we have three fields one is for data and another one for priority and this next field stores the link for next node initially front will be null means our priority queue is empty while implementing priority queue with linked list we need to allocate memory dynamically this create node function will allocate memory on heap by using this malloc function this malloc will return the base address of newly allocated block of memory that will be saved within this new node pointer with this new node pointer we can add data into the data and priority fields initially new node next field will be null this is nq function it has two parameters nq calls create node function it will return newly created node address if front is null means q is empty or this new element priority is higher than the front node priority then add new element as first element in our priority queue higher priority means small priority value to add new element as front place front address in new node next field and make this new node as front suppose if q is having some elements means which is not empty and new element priority is lower than front priority so we cannot insert new node as starting node in our queue so we need to find the correct position after which new node can be inserted for that take one temporary pointer assign the front value to the temporary pointer if temp next is not null means other than front we have one more node here we already compared this new node priority with front priority so now compare front next priority with priority of new node being inserted into our priority queue if front next or temp next priority less than or equal to new node priority then advance this temp pointer repeat the same process until temp next not equal to null or temp next node priority less than new node priority after this while loop temp will be pointing to last element which is having higher priority than new node priority since our queue is ordered queue based on priority then add temp next value in new node next and store this new node address in temp next field here we no need to check for overflow condition this is dq function it will check for underflow condition if queue is not empty we need to remove front element from the queue so before deletion advance the front pointer and delete previous front which is already stored within this step pointer this display function prints the contents of queue first we need to check whether queue is empty or not if queue is not empty to print the contents of queue this while loop will print no data and priority values then advance the temp pointer until this temp not equal to null if we execute this program here we are performing this four nq operations so our priority queue is this one four elements with associated priority values see here highest priority element minus 5 has priority value 0 placed first in priority queue but which is inserted after this element then second highest priority element and so on here we perform this two dq operations so first two highest priority elements will be removed from our priority queue final queue contents are these two elements two highest priority elements 10 and minus 5 removed 